Last year with iOS 15, Apple launched a brilliant new security feature. The iPhone maker told us that those who wanted to delay upgrading to iOS 15 could do so and still remain secure. That's because, Apple said, it was going to issue important iPhone security updates to iOS 14 users as well. The arrival of the new iPhone feature was confusing to say the least. I've written extensively about how the security updates applied in iOS 15 didn't match those offered to iOS 14 users. The iOS 14 updates also came much later than the iOS 15 ones, which made it difficult for me to advise people to stay on the older iPhone operating system. Now it appears Apple thinks the same. It is no longer updating iOS 14, which means in order to stay secure, you must update to iOS 15, iOS 15, 3 to be precise. If you don't upgrade your iPhone to iOS 15, 3, you'll leave your iPhone open to attackers, who can use known security vulnerabilities to target your device. Apple does say as much on its support page which says you would be able to choose between updating to the latest version or continuing on iOS 14 for a period of time. Now, that time appears to have ended, because the option to upgrade your iPhone to 14. 8. 1 has been removed as of iOS 15. 2. According. You know what you need to do to stay as secure as possible, but why has Apple suddenly stopped updating iOS 14? It seems that Apple watchers such as myself were wrong to assume the iOS 15 feature would be long term. It doesn't really make sense for Apple to keep people on old operating systems, the iPhone maker wants you to upgrade your device and use its new features and services. Yet many iPhone fans like to wait until any bugs are ironed out before updating, and iOS 15 has had a few major issues. Sadly, it leaves people making the choice between the security and functionality of their device.